another one. Yay! I wonder what month it is. Let's look and see. Okay, we got to open it and find out. And whoop! June! It's the June box! Woohoo! Wow. Happy fifth birthday, Tokyo Treat. Oh, we missed its birthday. Daughter Paul? Okay, do you want the to be the keeper of the menu? Sure, I'll be the menu. Read? I'll be the menu keeper. Well, otherwise we can't pronounce it. It's cute. And don't know how to read it. Happy birthday. Okay. Eggy. That means I get to grab first. This okay, you grab first. Okay. I grab off the top. Oh, that's big. It looks like it's blueberry though. Uh, grape. There is grape and orange options. It's the long sakuru gummy. Says, this party is a stopping like the long sakuru gummy. This super long fruity and chewy sheet gummy is it's it'll impress your friends and family. Are you impressed? I'm so impressed. It's so long. It worked. It impressed my friends and family. <laughs> okay, time to try it. Um, skeptical. I don't like grape flavored you things. You don't like anything. <laughs> don't like a lot of fruit flavored things. Oh, you smell the grape. Oh, God. <laughs> That's the grapeiest grape I've ever smelled. Really? You want to open nicely? Fine. We just need to keep scissors with us when we do this. What are you doing that oh my goodness, thing? there's a ruler! Oh, it's a centimeter oh ruler. Gosh. There's a ruler, look! You can measure everything in your house with the packaging. I need scissors to magically appear. Hey, I got it! Okay. Scissors part. have magically appeared! Okay, bite that. Oh man, I'm nervous. <laughs> oh. I like the texture. Mmm, great. It's not as bad as I was expecting, but it's not, not my fave. Okay, look, look, we were smart this time. We yeah, we water. got a little palate cleanser. Make sure you swish that around, cleanse your palate. Your turn. Grab the next thing. Ooh. There's like the Pikachu ones we got last time. Yeah, they're like they're golden kiwi fruit gummies. Ooh, kiwi makes me wonder. So... Let's see where is this. Is that on here? Oh, that's so weird. Where is it? It's not even on here. Am I crazy? It's not on here. So how am I supposed to know what it is? Here, you open it. I keep looking. Okay. Well, the package says golden kiwi for gummy mitts. Oh, it's a bonus! Oh, pff, it's right there on the back. <laughs> We're so smart, I swear. Who ate the whole package? <laughs> Ooh, they're little hearts! Oh, they're little hearts! Oh, that's delicious. It tastes fantastic. I like its sourness. This is not for you. She wants to join us again. Welcome our our mascot, Miss Athena. Oh, she's coming down. Yep, right? I'm gonna put this right here. Help me okay. see. Okay. Your turn. Okay. I got a big bag Ooh. of chocolate. Ooh, okay. This is the Black Thunder Party Pack. So it's classic Japanese chocolate bar. This crunchy and chocolatey cookie is one of the most popular treats in Japan. Perfect for sharing with friends and family. Treat. I feel like friends and family is like the theme. <laughs> I don't know. Because it's, it's like 25th anniversary. Yeah, it's a happy birthday. Happy birthday. So. Oh, they're a little melted. I figured they would be. Yeah. Stop. Oh, it Just say. Ooh. Ooh, no, no, no. You can't have that. Sorry. Chocolate's no good for doggos. Hurry up, I'm excited. 
It smells like cookies and cream. Their little packaging is cute too. It is. That's delicious. Who's it's chocolatey, in there? but it's not overly sweet. It's really not that sweet. No, it's not. And it's super like light and airy. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, this is delicious, Athena. You would love it. Yeah, she likes to eat chocolate with <laughs> Okay, a little swoosh a swoosh. My turn. Mm -hmm. Ooh. What's that? Lucky cone. Lucky corn. Ooh, so, it's more corn people. Yeah, the little corn peoples. Would you like to open it? Yes, I will open my okay. read. A salty and crunchy corn puff snack. This addictive oh. snack will have you going back to the party snack buffet. Can you resist eating all in one go? Yeah. <laughs> Who has people have party snack buffets? I mean, I guess. Chip stuff. Mmm. Definitely has like a popcorny taste. Yeah, I like that's it. Weird. It was interesting. Very interesting. Your turn. Um, it's Lipton, one of my favorite tea brands. Ooh, let's see what it is. But it also has Frito Lays on here. It's Mike Popcorn Premium. Yeah, so apparently you could have gotten one of three options milk tea, which is this one, caramel or banana smoothie. Oh, I would have loved banana smoothie. Banana smoothie. No snacks is party like popcorn. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh dear. That was strange. Yeah, yeah. That's been good. It's like caramel corn. This has milk tea on the whole thing. Yeah, but it's like covered with caramel corn. <gasps> How interesting. Sorry, I cheated and I looked. Cheater! Oreo Crispy! This is exciting. Sakura Chiffon Cake? Oh my lord. Oh my. Oh, oh. yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to read the information. I know, but yet you didn't want to give up the box, <laughs> you Oreo <laughs> person. I love Oreos. Oh, they come in a cute little package. Yes. So there's Sakura Oreos. Let's see, cherry blossom cream in these classic Oreo cookies. Have a gentle sweetness and elegance that sets them apart from other Oreos. Look at the little package. Oh, that's so cute. I'm so excited. Mm. Oh, they're like the, the thins. Yeah. Well, I figured thins. they were the thins. The picture's pretty yeah. much so thin. Ready? Yeah. Oh, no, I got hair. I got hair. Don't start without me. I like it. It doesn't have the normal creamy center taste. That's the best part. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> It could be the best part. Oh, nonsense. <laughs> I can, even though it doesn't have very much filling, I can still taste the cherry mm -hmm. blossom. I like it. It goes together very well. It's your turn. Fanta. Fanta. 
for me a grape. More grape. Don't See. worry. I'll drink it. I like grape. What it's are you a doing, grape? Japan exclusive Fanta. Uses grape puree made with grapes that are harvested and pureed within 24 hours for a fresh taste. Hmm. So it's a fresh. Japan takes their like drinks and their snacks and the, like their food in general so seriously. I love it. Like, they're so intense. Yeah, I like. And the fact is, like, through McDonald's and Burger King are ten times better than they are here. Right. Their food quality is just above par. Oh, I really like that. I mean, it looks like it has pureed grape in it. Like it's kind of foggy. I saw a TikTok that had KFC. And they have a KFC buffet there, and it looks so much better than our KFCs. You can have that. More for me! <laughs> you can have that. <laughs> okay. Ooh! Corn potage. What? Corn potage? That's another corn thing, I don't know. And potage. Texas corn potage snack. I feel like I, that's, I feel like that's not right. This crunchy and light corn potage snack is, oh, that's weird. I don't know what to feel about this. As soon as it hit my tongue, it reminded me of like, it's reminding me of something, some food that I can't think of. So that's the perfect. Oh, it has a soup. Yeah, it's like clam chowder or something like that. It's that's what it tastes like to me. Some kind of creamy soup, but cream of potato. Cream of potato. Is that? I mean, there's potato soup. Not cream. Of cream of corn. Cream of corn. <laughs> that's what it is. Growing up, we would, for some reason always have like cream corn. That's what it's making me think of. Okay, so that just means thick soup. Potage. Or potage. I don't know. Potage! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if I like those. Texas corn potage snack. Perfect for a creamy treat when you need a post-party pick-me-up that gives your belly a warm feeling. It's like fluffy soup. It's, it's so weird. <laughs> It's not, it's not really, it's not bad. It's just so it's weird. It's your taste buds. I don't like it. It's weird. It's, I don't like it. If you ever taste cream corn or like cream potato soup, like mix those together and that's what it tastes like. I've never had um, cream corn before, but I kind of don't want to now. But anyway, I picked up this thing. What's that? Ooh, let's, let's see what that is. I don't know what it is. It's an itty bitty little thing. Lemon squid snacks. Some, something a little sour and refreshing to break up the sweet and salty snacks. This tasty squid snack is a light treat and popular snack among adults in Japan. Well, they gotta put at least one seafood thing in here. Yeah, use the slippers. Yeah, I just want a nice clean across the top. It's such a small package. I was gonna see if I could pull it apart. Oh, it's like one thing. <laughs> That's so weird. There's one. So weird. Take a nibble. Is that like fried squid? Is that literally? My big. I'm pretty sure that's literally fried squid with lemon flavor on it. It does have lemon flavor though. It's very, very there. Mm -hmm. But it also tastes like squid. For sure. Okay. That wasn't horrible though. It wasn't as bad as the shrimp from last time. No, it's definitely not as fishy as the shrimp was. Okay. This is okay. Texas corn. Well, there's a lot of corn stuff in here. We like Texan stuff, apparently. Uh, okonomiyaki snacks. That's what it says in the little pamphlet. A must try for all Japanese food lovers. Okonomiyaki is a sweet and savory pancake people make with their friends. This crunchy and savory sweet snack 
brings the party vibes. Oh, it's the same shape as the corn, the other corn ones. Mmm. I like that. Definitely not as bad as the other weird corn ones. I don't know why they call it sweet and savory. It just tastes savory to me. Yeah, I don't taste anything sweet. Interesting. Is this a marshmallow? This looks like a marshmallow. It's a pudding marshmallow. It's a pudding mellow. Desserts make a birthday party. The soft and fluffy marshmallow is filled with a pudding cream paste. A tasty Japanese dessert inspired snack. It looks like flan on the cover. It looks like a little flan. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Oh, I missed all the cream. It's definitely a paste. It doesn't really taste like anything other than marshmallow. I mean, maybe a little vanilla y. That's a different kind of sweetness. It's basically just a marshmallow. What? Why is that open? It exploded the impact. <gasps> Are we gonna be brave? I just have to move down and see. It probably popped open. So, these are the cheese cow puff things. These are cheese senbai. We love cheese, so we <laughs> wanted to give you a Japanese cheese. cheese senbai. I think that's how you say it. That looks right, right? Senbai? senbai, senbai. Uh, cracker pack. To add some creamy cheese goodness to your snack party. So, just gonna go in through the pre pop hole. Wish me luck. It doesn't smell like anything. Oh, a sale. Uh, yeah, so, uh, mm, uh. It tastes like foam. I'm guessing that was supposed to crunch. But because it got opened in shipping and the shipping took so long, um, yeah, I don't think they're how they're supposed to taste. It tastes like styrofoam. But that could be because it's been open for a while. It could be. But I mean, like, if you have these and it's because they're stale, don't let them go scale, stale because they have no flavor and they taste like ghost poop. Ghost <laughs> Okay, your turn. Yeah, have some ghost poop. <laughs> it's sour, whatever it is. It has sour. It's and a, it has like a bottle on it. It's a long gum mini soda. While you chill out, try chewing on some sweet and refreshing cider gum. Okay, well, it's gum. We'll wait till yeah. it's last. Yeah, it's supposed to, that to, it's supposed to taste like soda. We'll taste that to the side. Okay. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Some, some croutons or something? Some croutons? <laughs> Oh, it's a matcha cookie. It got broken. <laughs> it looks like croutons. <laughs> Tokyo Treat loves Japanese flavors and Japan-inspired snacks. We wanted to represent our roots and celebrate our birthday with a tasty, crunchy, heart-shaped matcha cookie treat. Oh, well, it's supposed to be heart-shaped. It's not quite. Well, at least we know now. Ah. Uh, mmm. Uh. Definitely taste the matcha. Mm-hmm. Tasty. I don't know what this is. What is this? Ooh, it's like a little jelly pack. You just reaching for another one? Skipping my turn. You just took. You... No, you did that one. Oh, okay. I'll put that That's back. That's okay. Just grab the jelly pack. You already grab the jelly pack. I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> it's a great ball. Ooh, you're gonna love this. Yeah. A mini Japanese jelly treat. The sweet grape jelly has a vivid purple color and refreshing grape aroma. I feel like we need to start making memory and grab a spoon or something to try stuff. Just slurp the whole thing. We gotta try it. I'll lick it. Got some nice juices on top. Look at that little nibble. <laughs> it 
it's actually not that grapey. See, you were ready. I'm just going in and like, I don't like it. It's not that grapey, which I like. I do like the texture though. Very interesting. Okay, now you can do two. Hey, enough lickies. It's another grape thing. Oh boy. It's gum. <laughs> That's two gums. Yeah. Okay, we'll put that one off to the side too. It's the Marukawa, Marukawa okay. grape gum. Oh, there's two pieces in here. What's like that? literally there's two. Chibi Maru chocolate. Like right. there's literally a, a yellow one and a brown oh, one. That... Why bother packaging that? It's like packaging two M&Ms. <laughs> two. Chibi Maru chocolate. Bright and colorful, this rainbow chocolate tree is perfect for any. So they're Japanese M&Ms. But the packaging's so small. Also, the chocolate's probably better quality than M&M's. <laughs> so. mm -hmm. Are we, are we going to try them? Oh, I got brown. I'm sorry, that's probably tra that's trademarked. Thing that looks like a chocolate covered chocolate. The chocolate they forgot to put the M on. <laughs> oh. The candy coating is much more impressive. It's the chocolate's not thicker. also not as sweet either. Mm -mm. But yeah, this one's a little crunchier because of the candy coating. Mm -hmm. and the candy coating feels like thicker than a regular like M&M. Which makes it crunchy. Crunchy! Crunchy! Okay, you can do another one. Is it the last thing? Yeah, go for oh, it. No. It's, um, I grabbed the gum too. Oh, okay, okay. I grabbed two gums. Oh, it's like a little marshmallow that looks like a dice. A die. It's a marshmallow dice. Time to play some games. Hey, wait. That dice is made of a super fluffy marshmallow. It might not be great for playing board games, but it sure is tasty. It's just a square marshmallow. It's a square marshmallow in a die like wrapper. Yep. Well, okay. take a bite of the marshmallow. Mm -hmm. Ah. Bite the marshmallow. That's a marshmallow. It's a very dense marshmallow. How interesting. Right? You how do, how are we gonna do two gums? Um chew one, spill one out, chew the other. <gasps> or you can do one, I can do one. Okay, I I'll do the non grape one. What is it called? It's a stick. Yeah. Just take a bite. Oh, it's hollow. Oh, that's weird. It's hollow. They're balls. I feel like we've had these before. Mm hmm. No! I'm pretty sure we have some. The ball. I'd say this reminds me of soda. It does have a little bit of like, like if you know it's supposed to taste like soda, it kind of has a little bit of a zing. But if you didn't know, you probably wouldn't <laughs> see a difference. Overall, this party box, so a party buffet, mm. buffet, a buffet. It's not too bad, but it has a lot of things that are kind of weird. It has a lot of very strange things in it. However. I'm very happy about the Oreos, and I'm very happy about whatever those chocolate crunchy things were. The party pack, the Black Thunder. 
Mmm, <laughs> Black Thunder. It's delicious. It's super delicious. I don't know. There's only one thing that I really didn't like in it. It's not horrible. I mean, it's in other cultures. Food. So it's really good to get to know it. I feel like... I'm very bummed out that this came open, though. Yeah, that's kind of annoying, but... Hazards of shipping it around the world. Yeah. But, but I mean, if you're in the mood for ghost poop, ghost poop. got it right there. Well, we still have one more box that we should hopefully get eventually, and then we'll be caught up on boxes. Hopefully. Yeah, we just have June left. This is June. No, I mean May. That's what I meant. <laughs> I meant May. This is June. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Until then, we'll see you. I'll hit the bell icon once you subscribe so you know you can check this out. And you can when we see get another more. one. And we got all the fantastic stuff. Mm -hmm. So we do. Otherwise, we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.